And as the Chinese Communist Party's Congress continues, all eyes will be on who will be appointed to succeed Premier Li Keqiang. He is due to step down from the post in March after a decade of premiership, widely seen as being in the shadows of presidency. But what could this mean for China's economy, which is facing strong headwinds? Olivia Xiong has more. By next year, Chinese Premier Li Keqiang would have spent 10 years at the helm of the country's state council. Having reached his two-term limit under the country's constitution, he's set to step down from the government post. But what's got China watchers talking is whether the country's number two ranking official will exit the party's top decision-making Politburo Standing Committee as well. Mr Li, who is 67, is one year shy of the party's unofficial retirement age age limit is political, politically neutral. Unless you break down somebody with charges of corruption, usually you don't take them out if they haven't reached their age limit. Second principle is the packing order principle. That is, people have lined up for this position for a long time in that scenario, Professor Bo thinks Mr. Li could take up the third ranking post as chairman of China's legislature, the National People's Congress. But there are other experts who think Mr. Li may choose to retire from the standing committee and from Chinese politics. This given how Mr. Li is widely seen to have been sidelined by President Xi during his premiership. Xi Jinping does want to have a very competent premier who can manage the economy but somebody who will do it as Xi Jinping would like it to be done, rather than somebody who thinks that I have the economic portfolio, this is what I think needs to be done, and therefore I'll just get on with it. Uh, she has a different relationship with his premier compared to how Hu Jintao has relationship with his premier, Wen Jiabao. Mr. Li is a trained economist with a liberal background, and he was once said to have been in the running for the top job. Instead, he was made premier in 2013. This was with the support of outgoing president Hu Jintao, whom he forged a relationship with, as he rose through the ranks of the Communist Party Youth League, a faction which President Xi was not a part of. While Mr. Li's economic policies, once dubbed Leganomics, included plans for sweeping reforms to boost the market economy, his influence over shaping policy was curtailed as Mr. Xi sought to exert more control over the party, making himself the head of a new leading group that oversaw economic reform soon after coming to power. Mr. Lee confirmed he will be stepping down as Premier earlier in March when he met the media as is customary for the person holding the role at the end of the country's annual political meetings. Now looking back on his time, Mr. Lee said the biggest challenge has been dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic which dealt a heavy blow to China's economy. The impact of that still being felt here today as the country holds on to a zero COVID policy. In May, Mr. Li for the first time admitted that China may miss its GDP growth target for this year of around 5.5 percent, warning that more needs to be done to stabilize the economy. But even as there's been concern and frustration among some quarters over lockdowns and restrictions under China's zero COVID policy, observers say personnel changes may not signal policy change, especially as key policies have all been personally associated with presidency. China, you know, used to have, you know, a more clearly identifiable system of, you know, two or three major factions that had relatively discernible differences in how they approached certain key issues like growth and state and enterprise reform. But now we really do have a situation where there is, you know, one dominant faction under Xi Jinping. And because of that, most political watchers expect Mr. Xi to stack the top levels of the Chinese leadership with his loyalists and allies. If so, it'll suggest that Mr. Xi's power has not been weakened by mounting economic difficulties. But if not, it could point to rising discontent behind closed doors, which the world will get a glimpse of this weekend when China's new leadership is unveiled. Olivia Xiong, CNA, Beijing.